Shalom, Shalom. Kala Lali Yaw Ba Shem Yaw Shai Ba Shem Dash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations unto the Akiam, the brothers, pushing his truth through the four corners of the earth in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. Right? To the scattered, the speckled bird Israelites who will be scattered and removed into the four corners of the earth. I say Shalom, and I say Shalom to the few and faithful Akwat listening and learning. This is your brother Yerushalam from the GMS Prophetic Vibrations Camp here in Trinidad and Tobago, coming at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Rakako Dash. Alright? Now, now, this video, you know, I was inspired to do this video, you know, um, from, from, the, from the apostles, right? And start on from Apostle Ariam Lab, Apostle Zahar did a video on um, Deuteronomy 28. Now it's verse 68, you know, but you know this video I really wanted to go through um just the, the curses, you know. Alright, and um you know which includes Deuteronomy 28 and 68, you know, I just try to group them, you know, into the into main categories or main curses then that really afflicted our people. You know, and, and this being a powerful chapter, I think it's essential to go through, you know. So um without further ado, um let's um talk about the curses right now. With the first curse I have you know laid out here is um is um actually the slavery and captivity all right slavery and captivity that's one that is the first curse right when you first uh, or, or, or first um what you, what you would call it um first category of curses right slavery and captivity so let's go to the book of Deuteronomy right here so pretty much we'll be staying in this book right here I wouldn't go do too much precepts, you know, just to keep the video, you know, at, 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 um, not too cumbersome, right? But, you know, you can also always go to the precepts, you know, after. But it's just to show in Deuteronomy 28, you know, that um, the different curses in the different section, that the whole chapter is important, right? Both the blessings, even which is 1 to 14, and the curses 15 to 68, all right? So, this, for the first one being slavery and captivity, um, let's go to Deuteronomy um, 28 and... Let me see, 40, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 49. And Yahweh shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyeth. You know, and the eagle is always synonymous with Esau. You know, mostly in America, we use, they use the bald eagle as a symbol. Ancient um, Germany, well, Germany and, and, and Spain and, and, and these other nations, the other um, Edomite nations, Edomite countries use the eagle, right? You know, so the Lord says, shall bring a nation against thee from far from the end of the earth as swift as the eagle flyeth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. All right, you know, and when 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 the Edomites first came to the shores of Africa and to the to the New World to the Americas, you know, they didn't understand their tongue. You know, some were speaking Spanish, French, English, Edomite languages, right? You know, and then, we, then if we go down to verse sixty-eight, all right, we go down to verse sixty-eight. You know, it's 68 reads, And Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt. You know, Egypt is signifying slavery right here, right? Against thee with ships. Alright. With Egypt is Mitzrayim, right? Strong's H4714. Mitzrayim. Mitzrayim. Right, Mitzrayim, you know. Mitzrayim, basically, you know. Let's see what Alright. It's a name it's a name for Egypt, but it also Mitzrayim also goes into um also goes into into house of bondage, right? And that's what it really means, right? House of bondage. Right? Land of the cups, you know, double streets, you know. You know, that goes into it goes into that one, it goes into Mitzrayim, the name Mitzrayim, Mitzrayim was the father of the Egyptians. Alright, but it goes into bondage, you know, again with ships, right? Who went by ships in the history of the world? I don't need so called Negroes and Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, right? Because the Native Americans were sent, were actually, you know, in the reverse slave trade, which most people don't know about, you know, they were actually sent to Europe, right? So the same ships that were taken, the Southern Kingdom, you know, which is um, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Across the New World here, the Americas, the Caribbean, and so forth, you know, um, the same ships were taken. The Native Americans, the Gadites, and, and the Northern Kingdom tribes, 
across to, to um, Seville, Spain, right? Across to Europe, as slaves too, right? So Israel, Israel is the only one who went with ships. By the way, where have I spake unto thee, you know, just as, just as he says that it will happen, thou shalt see it no more again, or you shall see no again, your lands, right? Israel, you wouldn't see Israel no more again, where you came from, right? Or your own lands, right? And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, slave man and slave woman, you know, and we enemies being who we saw, Edomites and other nations, and no man shall buy you, which means no man shall redeem you, all right? So that's the first one, slavery and captivity, right? The second curse, you know, is having no power to stand against the enemy, against our enemies, right? And let's go to Deuteronomy 28 and 6, 25. It's Deuteronomy 28 and 25, right? And Yahweh shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them because we have no might, we have no strength, right? And shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth which go into the scattering, right? Which is one of the points I have lower down, right? You know, they shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. Alright? Now let's, let's skip to verse 65 because this is having no power now in your hands, right? Verse 65 says, And among these nations shall thou find no ease, you know, neither. So we find no ease, we are uncomfortable, right? We have no we have no we have no bargaining power, we have no 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 might. Neither shall the soul of thy foot have rest, because we are always weak and we weary, right? But Yahweh shall give thee a trembling heart, right? It's a trembling mind, a weak mind. And failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. So everybody, everybody in the nations will be able to take advantage of us. Right? And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. And thou shalt fear day and night. Right? You know, in, in, and, and in this place, you, in, you will live in fear. Right? You know, fear that the police will come, and, will come and take you, you know, could kill you. Right? For no reason. You know, fear that they will be able to have, have enough money to make have food on the table. For your children, right? You know? Fair, fair generally, right? You know, you don't have enough money for, for medical care, you know, you know, and, and, and that's, that's, we live in fear, right? In this kingdom, you know, and shall have none assurance of thy life. So there's no assurance of your life, right? When you're in slavery, they used to kill you, right? They, they put you to death for, for nothing, right? Even now, you know, the Israelites are treated like second class citizens, right? So that's, that's what would have no power to stand against their enemies, it's talking about, right? Next point is third point um, I have here is um, the scattering among the nations, right? And that's good at Deuteronomy 28 and 25. That's the same one I had actually. I read earlier, you know, but let's read it over again. 25, right? And Yahweh shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them and shall be removed into all kingdoms of the earth. And that's the scattering they're talking about. You know, and we, we can also go down to verse 64. Verse 64. So, so literally, you're getting precept upon precept right within Deuteronomy 28, right? And Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Right? So, so pretty much you were scattered and exiled. Among the people, you know, forced to worship the false gods, right, the idols, right, and all the wicked, wicked doctrine that they had, you know, either these Edomites, you know, which are the wicked, according to Malachi one and four, right, all right. So that's an, that's point three, point four is you know, Israel is a very sick and disease-stricken people, you know, and we're gonna see that right here in Deuteronomy twenty-eight, this is Deuteronomy twenty-eight and twenty-one, right. Yahweh shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee. Until he had consumed thee from off the land, would thou go as to possess it? Right? You know, so the pestilence will cleave to you, the Lord said. Right? Verse 22 says, Yahweh shall smite thee with a consumption. You know, and that's remind me remind me of um, tuberculosis. They call it consumption, right? You know? And with a fever, and with an inflammation, and with an extreme burning, and with the sword, and with blasting, and with mildew. And they shall pursue thee until thou perish. You know, you see these diseases we have all these like high blood pressure, diabetes, you know, heart disease. It just goes on and on. These 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 um afflictions, right, of the body. 
all right very sick and disease stricken right verse 27 say and your will smite thee with the botch of egypt and with the emeralds and with the scab and with the itch thereof thou canst not be healed right huh. and look over there. let's read this here and Yahweh shall smite thee with madness blindness and astonishment of heart so you know I mean, literally i mean israel is a strict a disease stricken people with mental and physical diseases right and you see if you look if you look at who's the madman in jail you know you see predominantly is jake all right a lot of jakes too this is deuteronomy 28 and 59 you know and Yahweh will make thy plagues wonderful and the plagues of thy seed even great plagues and of long continuance you see all these lifestyle diseases you know people these sores on the foot or women suffer bad circulation all right these, oh, these sores on the foot when they you know basically open up on the hole and it wouldn't heal all right so so let's read it over and Yahweh will make thy plagues wonderful and the plagues of thy seed even great plagues and of long continuance and sore sickness and of and of long continuance right moreover he will bring upon thee all the diseases of egypt which thou was of was thou was afraid of and which shall cleave unto thee also every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of the of this law them will Yahweh bring upon thee until thou be destroyed right so that's 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 basically what happened you know and as our people right now all right so i mean who else could be the people it's only us who suffer from those things all right now the the, the next um the next um curse main curse head in our category is um we are the bottom or the bottom of the barrel you know socially and economically you know you know all the other races high above us all right and that goes into deuteronomy 36 all right this deuteronomy chapter 36 all right and yahweh shall bring thee and thy king which thou shalt set over thee unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known and there shalt thou serve other gods wood and stone reading over that part right and thou shalt become an astonishment you know which means like you know what is an astonishment you know an astonishment is not a good thing let's go into that word right you know a horror which is a waste a horror a whole man a waste and one that can is not what you other nations consider us it, 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 those, those rocks in Israel, you know, and those rocks in the states and wherever it's just that they are, they, they, they surely aren't considered as waste or horror or poor men, right? That is up on the table, all right? It's we eating their crumbs, all right? You know, we have to be, we it's only those of our people who get any consolation prize, you know, you know, those, 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 those musicians, actors, right? Sports stars, they get any, just, they just get any crumbs on the table. Now they are the mega right? So they say to himself, and thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whither Yahweh shall lead thee. Right? Um, thou shalt carry much seed out into the sea, and gather li but little in, for the locusts shall consume it. Right? They say now, and thou shalt plant vineyards and dress them, but shall neither drink of the wine, nor, nor, the, nor the gather the grapes, for the womb shall eat them. And that's what we're doing right now, you know, we, we literally, you know, doing. We literally um have to do the all the menial work on on the other on the other nations seeking reward. Verse forty two saying says the stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. Right, that's it, you know. Come down very low. Right? And that's what I'm going into. Alright, so we are the bottom of the of the ranking, you know, socially, you know. You know, and then um another point a point point six would be like the um we lost the true knowledge you know of who we are you know and who we will be in the kingdom right you know we will call them scornful names you know like um you know other than israel and you know and hebrew israelites and whatnot we we lost the true understanding let's go to 28 and 37 did you know 28 and 37 right and thou shall become as an astonishment which is where we read we know over again because it's at this for this point as well an astonishment you know which is a horror you know you know a waste and a proverb and a byword among all nations whether Yahweh shall lead thee so we forgot who we were we knew we, we lord the lord made us you know let's go to Deuteronomy 7 and 6 
you know. The Lord say, for thou art a holy people unto Yahweh, thy power. Yahweh, thy power, hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. And that we used to be above all people, you know, but we drop to the lowest, right? We are in the lowest level right now. You know, that's illustrates that point, you know. You know, now point seven now is that, you know, we we basically uh, we oppressed, we packed, we packed into, um, into, into, you know, the prisons and the jails, and the jails, you know, you know, and we see that in Deuteronomy 28 and I believe it's 48. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 48, right? Therefore thou shalt serve thine enemies, which, which Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck, until they have destroyed thee. And this yoke of yeah, iron is talking about during slavery times, you know. You know, in slavery times, we had a yoke of iron on our neck, you know. We were hunger and thirst, and nakedness, and in want of all things. And in the same way, the same way now we are, we, we are still, right? Because even though we don't have a physical yoke, we have an economic yoke on around our neck, you know. The Esau basically owns us, you know. We could come back to the birth certificate, you know, when you go into the hospital, you know, they say it's free, free delivery for your of your children and your babies, but they make a sign this form and basically sign over your the right say your your child has been belonging to the elites. Alright? So so basically, you know, we, we become their 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 um, property. Alright? We have a yoke of iron, we have to keep on paying paying bills, alright, we subject to payments, as the scriptures say. Alright. And um in fact, let me just get that precept there. Alright. Uh, Baruch 3 and 8. Let's go to the book of Baruch. In the Apocrypha. Chapter 3, verse 8. Alright. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Alright. Where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. And to be subject to payments, right? According to all iniquities of our fathers, which departed from Yahweh our power, and as you know, talking directly to the captivity, you know, that's the direct curse that come upon us, right? Because uh, because we didn't listen, right? So that's that's um that's that's talking about our yoke, the yoke that we have around our neck right now, you know, which is that that economic and that yoke, you know, no longer yoke of iron, no longer physical yoke, you know, and it's also um. As you say, that's a spirit, something spiritual. Alright? So that was point seven. You know, we packed into prison, jail system. Alright? Alright, um... You know, next point, point eight would be, you know... That we are non-prosperous people, you know? We are the bottom of the bar barrel, you know? We are, we are non... We are not prosperous, you know? We know nothing we do that's fruitful. Alright? And Deuteronomy 28 and 17... Leaves 28 and 17. Yeah, curse shall be thy, thy basket and thy store. Right? Curse shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kin, kin and the flocks of thy sheep. Right? Cursed shall thou be when thou comest in and when thou and shall be with thou and shall and cursed shall thou be when thou goest out. Right? The Yahweh shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke. In all that thou settest thine hand unto for to do, until thou be destroyed, until thou perish quickly, because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me. So you know we we gonna be at the bottom of it, but no matter nothing we put our hands will prosper, and we see that, right? And now that's why we in the position we are now. So so nobody could tell me that you know that that Israel is not the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, and wherever else we scattered to India, China, and wherever else, right? Right? Deuteronomy 23 said, you know, and thy heaven that is over thy head shall be brass, and the earth that is under thy life, thy thee shall be iron. And it's also talking about, you know, this can mean also the, the cage, you know, the cages, you know, the prison system also. It could go into the previous point when you're packing the prison deals, you know, and it just it just showed that, you know, we we nothing will be fruitful, right? Verse 24 says, And Yahweh shall make the rain of thy land powder and dust. From heaven shall it come down upon thee until thou be destroyed. So, so we have no rain, you know, you know, to make our stuff fruitful. You know, then that that's that's one that's a curse there. Let's go to verse 29, you know, and thou shalt grope at moon noonday as the blind grope at in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. 
and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. Alright? Thou shalt betroth a wife, another man shall lie with her. And, you know, and, and this is prosperity too, because if another man lie with her, you know, that man see this going to the woman. You know, and you know, that's and you know, having a wife basically bring forth children, you know, bring forth the seed of Israel. Alright, so if we see the one and a man is planting with her now, you know, that's 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 a curse. Alright? You know, and children children bring brought prosperity, you know, and that's one of the reasons why polygamy was um was also uh, one of our one of our um our beliefs too, you know, our customs. Because you know, the more children you have basically the stronger your house becomes, you know. The more prosperous you are. Alright? More work you could do and whatnot, and more more vineyards and f and flocks you could tend. You know, they just make sense, right? So um so that's um so let me just finish reading verse 30. Thou shalt betray thy wife, and another man shall lie with her. Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and thou shalt not gather the graves thereof. Thine ox shall be slain before thine eyes, and thou shalt not eat thereof. Thine ass, which is donkey, shall be violently taken away from before thy face, and shall not be restored to thee. Thy sheep shall be given unto thine enemies, and thou shalt have none to rescue them. And that's happening now, you know. You know, that's same thing right verse 33 says and the fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always and that's that's the truth all the labors that we do is for is for the other nations for mainly Esau Edom right all right verse 38 you know thou shalt carry much seed out into the field and shall gather but little in for the locusts shall consume it thou shalt plant vineyards and dress them but shall neither drink of the wine nor gather the grapes for the womb shall eat them all right thou shalt have olive trees throughout all thy coasts but thou shalt not anoint thyself with the oil for thine olive shall thou cast his fruit all right which means shed his fruit all right thou shalt beget sons and daughters but thou shalt not enjoy them for they shall go into captivity and you know, sons and daughters are explaining you know, that that also too is uh, an investment as well you know for prosperity wise you know verse 44 says he shall lend to thee which is the other nations you know we don't we don't have any banks we don't lend money right we just borrow right he shall lend to thee and thou shalt not lend to him he shall be the head and thou shalt be the tail right and in our scripture that um basically talks about um i believe it's the the borrower is is servant to borrowers the rich will live of a poor okay yeah that's proverbs 22 and 7 right let's go there um let's go in the in the, in the um 1611 version proverbs proverbs so like here 22 and 7 this is the book of Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 7. The rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender, right? So the rich ruleth over a servant, and the borrower is servant to the lender. So you know that makes realize that we are we are the servants. Alright? We are the servants, right? So you know that's we are we are the Israelites, you know. Alright? He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. Alright? And verse 51 says. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle and the fruit of thy land until thou be destroyed, which also shall not leave thee either corn, wine, or oil, or the increase of thine kin, or flocks of thy sheep until he hath destroyed thee. And that's what we're going through right now. They want to destroy us. You know, as Sammy, they want to talk about, you know, you know, they, they, they have, they have this crafty counsel to destroy us, right? All right. So you know we are non-prosperous people, and you know, and that brings us to point nine. You know, so we are we oppressed, we are oppressed always, right? To Jeremiah twenty-eight and twenty-five say, and your Yahweh shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies, and thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them, and thou shalt be removed into all kingdoms. So we 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 be oppressed, right? We be anywhere we go, we can't come up. We have no power. We always be knocked down, right? We always be suppressed and oppressed. Verse 48 say, Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and thirst, and, and, and in nakedness and in want of all things, and shall put a yoke of iron around thy neck. And we went through this before, right? So I wouldn't go any further. 
we're gonna press people right you know and the, and the 10 points you know the 10 point you know you know we will be also indulging in all in spiritual fornication right and idolatry right to join me 28 and 36 i believe yeah Deuteronomy 20 then 36 Yahweh shall bring thee and thy king which thou shalt set over thee unto a nation which, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known and, and there sh and there shalt thou serve other gods wood and stone so they were the reason why we serve other gods you know queen of heaven you know all these wicked doctrines all right you know all these wicked wicked doctrines that we learn that we were doing you know you know we we basically very religious you know, and members of all religions, you know. Verse 64, 20 then 64 says, And Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou, thou nor, thou, nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And this is talking about that, right? Even wood and stone, you know. And uh, you know we, we we worship Christmas. All these wickedness. Jeremiah chapter ten talk about that. You know, you know, we worship any Christmas tree when you bow down from it in front of it to to pick up presents, gifts, all right? All sorts of wickedness. You know, you know. So people, let me get a scripture. Yeah, it's Romans 10 and 2 and 5, right? Let's go to there. Romans. Book of Romans 10. And 2. Yeah, because, you know, this is this is Israel itself, you know. Romans 10 and 2, right? For I bear them record that they have a zeal for your hour, but not according to knowledge. Right? And that's, that's our people right now. A lot of us caught in these Christian doctrines, right? A, a thousand different Christian denominations. Right? None of them have any fullness of the truth. Right? And that's and that's what happened, you know. Yeah, first three says, Romans 10 and 3 says, For they being ignorant of your house righteousness, and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of your hour. Hmm. And that's and that's the state of our people. We are destroyed. And that's it, you know. Ten ten of the um categories of curses, you know, that I was able to pull out from Deuteronomy, you know, you know, and, and you know, and I hope, I hope that brothers were edified by this video. All right, let's go into Deuteronomy 28 a bit, you know, to, to recap. All right, hope this video was edifying. All right, on to the next one. Shalom, shalom.